welcome to Now About Lane. Um, following the last vlog, I've started work on the bathroom. So um, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what we've been up to. The light's not brilliant, let me turn the light on. Oh, that helped. Right, so all I've done, if you remember, we had these white tiles on that wall. Um, I managed to get them off and then it was just a simple case of chipping off the tile adhesive uh, and grout remnants that were left and then underneath we had the tongue and groove was still there which was handy um, so it was just a question of chipping it all off sanding it back and then a few licks of paint now when I was getting the old adhesive off I did sand this down pretty well but I probably could do with another quick sand over and another coat of paint also where the boiler was this was where the thermostat for the boiler um was located but obviously there's no boiler no more so that's all been ripped out and it's revealed this rather ugly groove down the side of the side hatch frame so that'll need a piece of trim or something there just to to tidy that up the the frame itself was painted with this black paint so i've got all that off sanded that down and give it a coat of stain which I'm not sure you can see that's but that's a little bit better so it's uh, now down to the bare wood which is nice so today's mission is to do the same on the bottom and remove this black tile now I know from experience from when I did the living room wall the the board which you can see here um, will hold the tile adhesive very well so when I the last time I did it, I did it with a flat disc on an angle grinder because I wasn't concerned about the finish that it was going to leave because I was putting on these wood tiles, if you remember. So it covered up any nastiness. Whereas in here, although I will be replacing this carpet, I've decided to run the whole length of the boat down to the, where the wooden tile starts. But... I do want to leave a reasonably nice smooth finish behind these tiles because obviously any lumps and bumps and horrible gouges you know you might you may be able to see them through the carpet so uh, I'll crack on and I'll show you the ne Neanderthal way I go about removing tile right then tools required for this job claw hammer big hammer there's no finesse involved it's just going to be a case of getting behind these tiles and ragging them off right then i'm hoping with a bit of luck by the look of this that there's not going to be too much adhesive left on the wood behind but there's only one way to find out Well, that's already disappointing because yesterday when I was doing this they were coming off in nice whole tiles so they weren't creating lots of mess for me to throw away but uh, today I don't think I'm going to be quite so lucky okay so fast forward 30 minutes I'm one poorly thumb later um, if you can work with gloves on I recommend you do it removing ceramic tile it goes without saying they're quite sharp as I've learnt to my detriment, poorly me. Right, anybody who says tiling an hour boat is a bad idea because of the flex of the boat, the tiles will fall off, don't know what they're talking about. These tiles were solid. Um, it literally took a lump hammer, a claw hammer, a long flat headed screwdriver, a chisel to get them off, but they're off. But you can see what I'm up against now. The tile adhesive that's left on the wood I mean, there were ways around it. I mean, what I could do, I suppose, I could cut that piece of ply out uh, and just put a new piece of ply in. But as you know, my channel is all about saving dosh, not spending it where you need to. So Alba Grease is free. So for the rest of the day, I'm going to set about with a flat-headed screwdriver and a chisel 
uh, try and scrape this off. Last time I did it in the living room, I used an angle grinder with a flat disc, and um, it was it was lethal. The amount of dust it created, absolutely lethal. So I'm not going to do that this time. I did it yesterday when I when I prepared these walls. I did it yesterday with a flat headed screwdriver and just elbow grease, and it took me a while, but I got there. So I think it's more of the same today. I mean, I could go out and buy one of those power chisels that you, you can buy, but what for? I'm probably never gonna need it again. Um, so it's money that I don't need to spend. And like I say, elbow grease don't cost nothing. I'm not looking forward to it, but wish me luck. Well, we're halfway through getting the um, tile adhesive off. Tile adhesive off. So it's time for a cup of tea. It's coming off not too bad, to be honest. It probably took me half an hour at the minute. Um, I'll spin you around and I'll show you the progress. Right, nothing spectacular. I'm sure that doesn't look like it's off, but it is. This is just the remnants now. So what I'll do, obviously when I'm finished, is give that a good sanding down, get rid of all the splinters and the rough edges and stuff. Like I say, I'm probably gonna carpet straight over the top anyway, but um, obviously I'm not gonna be able to carpet over this crap. So I'll have to get it off. Um, yeah, there's probably better ways of doing it, like I say, rather than a screwdriver and an hammer. But uh, it seems to be working fine, fair enough. Uh, just a bit of mess to clean up after myself. But yeah, we're getting there. This wall's coming down. This bathroom wall and door's coming out. So we're going to reinstitute the um, the corridor. Um, so the wall is probably going to start from about here, coming this way. Tight room's a bit tight, as you know. Um, yeah, and then we'll either have um, an opening door either in, probably out, to be honest, because there's not a lot of space going to be in the bathroom then. And then we'll be able to, which we've not been able to do up to now, excuse me, um, is use the side hatch in the summertime, have that open and have a nice breeze blowing through, because at the moment, with it being a walkthrough bathroom, you can't really have the side hatch open because uh, I'm sure passing boaters don't want to see you having a poo. So yeah, right, cup of tea time and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, so there we go then. I'm not gonna lie, when I said about the elbow grease, it is a bit, um, it is a bit hard work. Well, I say that, it's not really. I mean, once you get into the flow of it, it, it it's quite therapeutic really. Um, like I say, I mean, if I was going to keep it bare wood, obviously there's nothing really we can do with this. It'd have to come out and be replaced, um, which wouldn't be an issue. I'd just circular saw it or uh, chisel saw it out, the section out and replace it. But like I say, with the carpet going on the wall, it's not really going to be an issue. Um, well, it's not going to be an issue at all, to be honest. And um, although like the, f the front veneer is peeling off in places, um, obviously where the, where the adhesive's come off, I mean, it's still solid, so uh, it's a good base for the carpet to go on, um, and that that will join up then with the tiles on the wall in the in the kitchen. Following that new, bar I call them barge boards. I don't know what they are, uh, gunnel boards, whatever. So that that will continue all the way down. Um, I'm going to replace this one as well, so it'll all be new timber all the way down, varnished to match the same as that, um, and then the wall, the upper wall. Although I don't know whether it's going to stay this colour. We quite like it, but I'm not sure about the whole boat being in this colour. But anyway, that's something for us to decide upon. But the whole wall from the back, of, from the stern all the way through to the bow um, will all be the same colour. Um, flooring wise, carpet in the bedroom would be great. But the thing is, we're moored stern in. So it's the main entrance and access point for the boat. Um, and with the dog, it's just getting minging. I mean... Okay, yeah, I should put this sh dust sheets down when I work, but I don't. Um, but just the normal everyday use. I mean, that carpet's been down for less than a month and a bit. And although our local carpet shop sells carpet remnants for, you know, 20, 20 quid a time, I think it is, to do the living room, um, you know, it's just it, you're kind of wasting money. So what I want to do really is put wooden flooring back down. So the wooden flooring is going to go from... Excuse me. The wooden flooring is going to go from the stern door all the way through the corridor is going to be about as wide as this first as this first tile all the way through so obviously i'll need to extend this wall a few inches out to um so it matches up in line with this bulkhead wall 
if you know what I mean. It's slightly set back at the moment for reasons known best known to itself. But yeah, so that will be across. The, this this obviously will all go, and then it will just have the boat will have just a, a much nicer flow to it. The only thing then we'll have to get is a stair gate so that Henry doesn't pounce on our head halfway through the night because he's a, a bit of a fidget bum, is Henry. But yeah, so right next step, have a bit of a brush and sweep up. Then I'm going to get the sander out and just give uh, just get rid of the last bits of chunky rot. And then uh, I think that'll be about it for this one. Right then, so there we are, three hours in, and we're done pretty much. Um, there's not really a lot more I want to do or can do. Mm -hmm. Hello, Henry, with um, with the wall. Excuse my fingers. Um, I've got all the tile adhesive off. There's still the residue of the tile adhesive on there, but that's not an issue because it's going to have uh, an absolute bucket load of um, contact adhesive for when the carpet goes on. So, and I know through experience, once that's once it's on, it's not coming off. So yeah, I'll sign off. Oh, hang on, I'll show you what I've done first. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? The uh, the finished article. Hang on. There you go. So it's not going to win any beauty awards, but it's it's uh, smooth's not the word because it's a bit crappy. The uh, the plywood you can see where it's you know it's delaminated in places and stuff. So it's not I wouldn't say it's smooth, but it's an even surface for the carpet to go on. So uh, that's it. That's the next step of the bathroom renovations done. Well, I say bathroom renovations, hallway renovations. So uh, take it easy. And uh, I think next time what I'll be doing is taking not the whole door out at the moment, because obviously we still want privacy in the bathroom, but um, I'll be taking out like a little run of tiles down this side so that I can get through. And that way I can carpet and I can put the new gun wall gun all uh, boards whatever I don't, I don't even know if they've got a proper name have they but anyway this board that i'm replacing is going to be all the way through to the kitchen so i'll be able to feed that through and get that on so that that's done then and then all it's going to be a case of being is just taking up these three tiles and laying some wooden flooring well i'm taking the door out but that won't take me two minutes right cheerio then give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already um it's always nice to see new followers coming along for the trip and until next time for me and h We'll catch you later.